Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal confirming that David Luiz underwent successful surgery on his right knee and is now recuperating and then we're going to look at Arsenal's new third kit for the 2021-2022 season leaked with retro inspired design. So the first news headline states that Arsenal confirmed David Luiz underwent successful surgery on his right knee and is now recuperating. So the reports are stating that Arsenal have confirmed that David Luiz has undergone surgery on his right knee and he will return from fitness in the upcoming weeks. The Brazilian centre-back missed the Gunners 3-0 home defeat by Liverpool on Saturday night with Miklo Sessa admitting he was unsure as to whether David Luiz would feature again this season. The centre-back, who turns 34 this month, now faces a race against time to get back fit in time for the rest of the season, with the Gunners hoping to enjoy success in the Europa League and the final eight matches of the Premier League season. A statement from the Arsenal medical staff read, the procedure has been a success and David Luiz is now back at home rehabilitating. He will be able to return to daily supports and recovery with our medical team at the training centre in the coming days. David is expected to be back to full fitness and available for selection in the upcoming weeks. David Luiz wrote on Instagram from his hospital bed, the procedure has been a success and I will go home soon. Just want to thank you all for the supporting messages and for the medical staff that did a great job. I will be back stronger. Let's keep fighting all together. Never give up. Happy Easter. The Brazilian defender has played 29 times in all competitions for the North Londoners this season, including starts in 5 out of Arsenal's last 6 league matches. Arsenal were beaten quite comfortably on Saturday night without David Luiz with Diego Jota scoring a brace either side of Mohamed Salah's strike. David Luiz has played 29 times this term but has a race against time to return before the season's end. The Gunners were disappointed in attack and tested Liverpool, Liverpool goalkeeper Alison Becker just twice, a tame header from Nicola Pepe and a long-range strike from Cedric Suarez. Speaking about David Luiz's chances of reaching a game this season, Arsenal manager Miklo Setter said, I don't know. It would depend what the decision we take is. If it's more conservative, it will be short term. But if it's a bit more radical with what he needs, it will take longer. The loss to Liverpool means Arsenal remain 9 points behind, 4th place Chelsea with 8 games remaining for the league season. David Luiz will be unavailable for Arsenal's Europa League quarter-final, first leg against Slavia Prague on Thursday night. Should the Gunners win the competition, they will qualify for next season's Champions League group stages. The Gunners were dealt another blow in defence on Saturday night when Kieran Tierney limped out in the first half of the Liverpool game. So it looks like David Luiz has underwent successful surgery on his right knee and it has been confirmed by the Gunners as he is now recuperating. And when it comes to David Luiz, he is someone that has undergone surgery on his right knee but he will return to fitness in the upcoming weeks. And the Brazilian centre-back was missed to a large extent by the Gunners as they lost 3-0 to Liverpool at home. And also Miklo Arteta was admitting that he was unsure as to whether David Luiz would feature again this season. However, it has been positive news that now David Luiz faces a race against time to get back fits in time for the rest of the season. And hopefully the Gunners will be able to enjoy success in the Europa League and the final eight matches of the Premier League. And hopefully David Luiz will be able to come back to full fitness and be available for selection and also make a huge difference in the upcoming games and hopefully have a strong end to the end of the season. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news and the headline states that Arsenal's new third kit for 2021-2022 season leaked with a retro inspired design. So the reports are stating that the Gunners are planning wholesale changes to all of their kits for next season in partnership with Adidas including a fresh blue lightning alternative strip. Arsenal's new third kit for the 2021-2022 season has been leaked online displaying a retro inspired design. In the last month, both of the Gunners' new home and away strips have been made public by notorious kit revealers footy headlines. And according to the same website, 
Arsenal's alternative strip to the latest kit out of the bag ahead of its official release. It looks as though the club will be drawing on their past in a nod to the Blue Lightning kits produced by Nike in the mid-90s as next season's outfit bears a very similar resemblance. As per their sponsorship agreement, Adidas are once again producing the kits and their logo will be two colours, white and red to follow the rest of the styles on their range of elite third kits. Fans will be able to get their hands on the kits as well as other merchandise taking on a similar design scheme from August 2021. Arsenal's supposed new home kit was the first to be unveiled online and naturally will take on the club's traditional colours as well as navy trim around the sleeves and a v-neck collar. Keeping up with the tradition of Arsenal's leaked away kit is predominantly yellow with blue detailing and some red trim around the sleeve curves. The bigger questions now facing Mikel Arteta and this side are which players will still be around to pull on the strip next season and whether the trio of outfits will get a run out in Europe. Saturday's 3-0 defeat to Liverpool laid bare Arsenal's persistent problems and put a big dent in their chances of landing a spot in the Europa League for next season. Mikel Arteta's man are currently ninth in the table but are 4 and 6 points off Everton and Tottenham respectively, both of whom had games in hand over Arsenal. While losing at home to a struggling Liverpool team was disappointing, Mikel Arteta admitted it was the manner of the defeat which was particularly jarring. They were much better than us in every single department, we were extremely poor, Mikel Arteta said after the match. But when it comes to this kit, it looks like a really nice kit in my opinion and I think Adidas have been starting to show their true colours as their kits have been looking very nice and very slick and very beautiful in my opinion. This is a kit I'll probably be buying because it does really look very nice out of the three kits I've been really liking the retro kit for some reason. I don't know, I think I like the colour kind of blue shade much more but obviously I will be getting the other pairs as well but hopefully the Gunners, as all Arsenal fans buy the kits, hopefully they use that money to buy some players because money is revolving around all of us and hopefully that money that they get is hopefully used for some new transfers and hopefully you don't see the likes of Gabriel Magalhaes in this kit but hopefully new players such as the likes of Ashraf Hakimi maybe in this new kit but other than that guys remain blessed stay tuned for the next video and peace